Hey yo, you ready? Let's do it. here what's up everybody welcome back to the fox shaman another edition of fan rides live we are still at ford takeover <laughs> and i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to my man right here and he's gonna tell us about this ride what's got going on with it and everything the interesting that he has to say about it this is the family car i tried to talk mama into buying uh -huh. a a Dodge Caravan. She test drove one of these and that was it. 1990, I bought this thing, it was two years old. Okay. Had 40,000 miles on it. Sweet, sweet. And it was a family car, so we drove it and drove it and drove it. This old old baby has got 388,000 miles on it. Wow. Like I said, I've owned it since <laughs> 1990. We yeah. put all the miles on it. Yeah. And there's a long story behind it, but I switched over to Mobile One. Uh -huh. And it, it proved to me in the mobile one because it got a mile per gallon better really? and over 4,000 miles it paid for itself okay i was like i don't want to run that expensive stuff so it convinced me to run it so ever since then i've been running it oh wow okay and then uh little by little i did uh differential i did an auburn diff put 355 gears in there i got the wheels at a discount it was the uh, what do they call them blems I got the rims and tires many, many moons ago. <laughs> and then mama got in an accident with it with my one-year-old daughter in the car. Wow. She hit a pole about 35 miles an hour avoiding the car. Ooh. Lucky that car stayed and the insurance covered everything. Right, right. What, what the heck? It needed a hood, needed a radiator. Let's put a Serini hood on it. Let's put a <laughs> Celine kit on it, yes, you know? Yes. And I just paid the difference. Just do it up. Do it right. I did uh, <laughs> a budget. Rear disc brakes, yeah. it was off an 89 Turbo Thunderbird. Yeah. The Turbo Thunderbird had rear disc brakes, four lug and all nine yards. So it was pretty much a bolt in. So I did that. Rear uh, did the drilled rotors. What else have done with this baby? Just <laughs> drive the hell out of it. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I the drive knowledge. it. I love it. Oh, it's I love it. it's stock and I'd go down to test and tune and run the bit yeah. the baby with the smog pump on it and the catalytic converters. <laughs> Launching real soft because yeah. I got no traction, but I turned to 14.2 with it, 97 miles an hour. But it had 250,000 miles on that at Mobile One engine That's at what the I'm time. Talking about. Yeah. And Mama drives this thing. The wife put most of the mileage on it. You you might walk by and look at my license plate frame. It says Steve's car, not. <laughs> Guess who bought that? Okay. She bought that and handed it to me, and I was like, huh. <laughs> it's Good cool. Deal. Good it's deal. been on there forever. So, Good deal. Uh, yeah, Mama, she's uh, done power slides with it, and I'm like, what nice. the hell are you doing? Nice. And I was watching her, man. She was in a nice drift, had the steering wheel in full control, and she's just throttling, not over yeah. revving it, like a real, like one of us. Wow. And bop, 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 and put it straight, and I'm like, what the hell? And she goes, I've been practicing. <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. So, awesome. So, yeah, awesome. she's awesome. Okay, so good deal. about it. All right. Oh, awesome story. He said, when I was walking by, he said he had an awesome story for this car. That is an awesome story. So we're gonna take a look at this bad boy right now and let y'all get a closer look of this over 300,000 mile Fox. Dude, oh man, they, <laughs> I wouldn't touch it until it completely stopped. But check man, it out, y'all. I get no power, man. <laughs> Toyota Corollas are faster than me. Oh, it don't matter, it's a Fox. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, but check it out, man, the paint on this bad boy looks good. And y'all hear he was in an accident. Color. Original color, so. But I had them add some uh, metal flake into it. Right. So it's original color with added metal flake. And okay. you look up close, you see it, it gives it a pop. Yes, yes. I can see it from this distance right here, about four feet away from it, and it's just sparkling. So I don't know if I'll be able to get it for y'all, but yeah, there it is right there. You can see it. It's all, all that flake. Dirty. Yeah. The flaky part of it is the sparkle. But check it out, y'all. 300,000 mile car. Oh, I forgot a big one. And he's just enjoying it to death. 
That's what I love the most. What you got, bro? Check out my steering wheel. I built that like 20 years ago. The old 88 steering wheels have a plane straight across with cruise control on it. Right. Well, I took the stock steering wheel off, cut the tone ring off, made a spacer all along the drill press and the good old JB weld, and put it into my aftermarket steering wheel and made brackets for the switches. So I got an aftermarket steering wheel with the factory cruise on it. Nice. Nowadays, they make it and you can buy it off on Amazon. Before, awesome. I built that and it took me a bunch of hours. You know how it is? Yeah. And you said a bunch of nice profanity words as you're doing it and then <laughs> give up and go away from it and then come hey, back to it. Back, walk back to it and it seems to go together yes. right after that. Yeah. You sleep on it, it's like, I dummy do this, this, and this. One, it's usually one or two simple things and it's done. Amen. But check it out. All the crews, everything. Then I did built the it back in. dash on it. Love it. And if you see those, when you put it in, the whole dash is white and it looks ugly. Well, I found a bezel that was stainless steel and it made it look like oval gauges. Couldn't have painted it flat black and put it in there and it made it pop. Made it pop. So nice. at night, it's nice blue. The whole back of the gauge is glowing. Sweet. It's clean. Good deal. And y'all, this paint is definitely nice. <laughs> you like that paint? I love the paint. I love it. I love it. And of course, you know he's got my Celine wing on the back. No, I'm digging that right there. It's a real Celine wing. And a real Celine. I don't think mine is because this. They make about fiberglass now. Yeah, and that's probably like mine. Some different uh, compound. Okay. I don't know what it is. Good There's deal. a crack on the other side, and the guy says, I don't want to mess with it because I don't know what the materials are. Ah, fiberglass okay. is easy to repair. Yeah. But check it out. That's the swap he was talking about. Disc all the way around. Love that with the Cobra wheels. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, me and my the buddy. big thing is that he drives this bad boy all the time. Too much. <laughs> you were saying? We drive it too much, but me and a buddy made the graphic on the side. Oh, okay. Back in the day, we're looking at them and all the late model Mustangs, the doors are flat and this tall. Yeah. And, you know, Amazon had decals but they were this big and yeah. it wouldn't fit with the foxes they got that trim on the side and so we shrunk it down and we put the horse on and it was like it's naked is this too short and it's like <laughs> what are we gonna do I go let's do a tribal thing what he drew it out and it's like hey that doesn't look too bad there popped it, it on so yeah. it's it's a custom sticker for me and my buddy and it works and then we had leftover vinyl, and I, he's like, what should I do? I don't think a 5-0 sticker. 5-0 HO, I put that on the hood. Yep. And the custom touch to his Mustang, y'all. Gotta be different. Oh, yeah. Got to be different. Yeah, look at that. stoop down and look at the license plate. Read the top of it. Oh, there it is. There's the license plate he was telling me about. Steve's car not <laughs> wife bought that to him and said put it on been on there ever since but y'all check it out the stance you know it right on point fender the wheel gap minimal it needs some help <laughs> it's yes. got the wrong size of tires in the back oh too small yep <laughs> okay the fronts are nines, the rears are tens, and it's got the same size tire on both of them. Oh, so gotcha. the sidewall on the front is nice and straight, and, and the sidewall kind of is dished bit. in. I just noticed that. It, yeah. it was the uh, factory or Blem rims. It was a smoking deal, so I threw them on. Hey, when you get a deal, you snatch it up. Amen. <laughs> well, Y'all, I like it. T-top out and everything. And Steve Celine signed the dash. Yes. Okay, let's let's teach those Fox guys something. 1988, that they did not offer the T-tops. Right. It wasn't in the brochures or anything. And what it was, it was leftover parts from 87. They assembled around 300 of the T-tops Mustangs in 88 and just sold them to the dealerships. No advertisement, none of them in the brochures. Wow. 87 you could have ordered it and they had over 4,000 t-tops in 87 
88, they only had around 300. Wow. Nice. And it was funny. I didn't know it. I just, it's an 88 T-top. I had it in a car show. Some kid walked by and says, what year? I go, it's an 88. He goes, no, it's not. Excuse me? <laughs> Tell me what your, my, your, my car is? He goes, do you mind if I look? I said, go ahead, help yourself. He popped the door and looked and he goes, damn, it is an 88. Yeah, so? He goes, you don't know what you got. They didn't put T-tops on the 88s. They didn't offer them. They only put, put them on there and sold them. So there's less than 300 of those. Wow. I got a rare one. <laughs> yeah, and it's unadvertised rare Fox. Yes. Nice. Hey. So you hear that? There's a lot of stuff going on with foxes <laughs> that we learn all the time. See, that's new to me right there. See, they just took some old parts and put together, sold them, didn't advertise it or nothing. So this young man got educated by somebody else on it. Hey, all the time we learn on these bad boys right here, especially me. Ain't been in them but a handful of years, but I'm always, I'm always uh, looking at a good story and stuff like that. So yeah. Hey, I appreciate you sending your car, or sending your car in. He didn't send it in. I'm standing right here in front of him. But anyway. I sent it in. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate you. Let me check this bad boy out, man. Love the story on this bad boy. We're all family. Yes, We're all yes family. we are. 300,000 miles. All of that's enjoyable miles. He put the majority of them on there himself. Over 75% he said his wife done on this thing, and she's been drifting and everything in this bad boy. Love it. So anyway, if you like that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and get that fresh stuff when it comes out, and we'll see you later.